This is a hole saw arbor. You put this in your milling machine with a hole saw on it and it allows you to make a really nice cut in bicycle tubing. Paragon Machine Works makes and sell these. Uh, let, me, let me show you all about it. So if you haven't seen my video all about hole saws, you should watch that first because that has a lot, you know, more of the basic principles. But here I just really wanted to harp on the importance of the hole saw arbor. So when you buy these hole saws from the hardware store, they come with this rinky dink little arbor. And the whole point of this is so that you can hold it in like a cordless drill and, uh, and it just holds onto the hole saw. And then there's a little uh, a hole in the center and there's a pilot drill that extends sort of like this, you know, extends out of the middle as your center point of rotation. When you you're putting it on the milling machine you could hold it by that arbor but it just wouldn't be very rigid it'd be more noodly and the arbor is really quite important right and so these have a three-quarter inch shank which is you know a lot larger in diameter and these are just cold rolled steel blanks I think that Paragon Machine Works turns on a CNC lathe and gives them these threads and you can buy these really affordably last time I bought some I think they were like eight dollars each or something they really don't cost that much money if you buy one or two of these every time you make an order for dropouts and stuff from Paragon. It doesn't hurt that much every time and you end up with a reasonable collection and you can keep your hole saws on their own arbors more or less which is really nice. Uh, you know when you're when you're going to make bikes you don't need to switch them back and forth. So on the machine here we have uh, the spindle and um, and you use collets right so like on a drill press or something you might use a drill chuck and you know I have a way to mount this in here and this just you know it's what you're used to seeing it's a three jaw chuck and it scrolls in and out this can hold up to a half inch shank but on the milling machine if you want actually to, to take advantage of the rigidity of it and stuff you want to use a collet and so this has a taper on the outside and it's got threads on the back and as you pull it up into the spindle it, it wedges on this taper and it grips onto your shank there. So this is for a three quarter inch shank, which is the size of these. And that's about the largest you can fit on this machine. They make a weirdo collet for seven eighths, but it's really, uh, I, you know, it's, you can't really fuss with, you can't get that much out of it. So um, a three quarter inch shank though works great. And you just put this up into the spindle of the machine. And then you put your tool up in there. And now that's that's real tight and that's rigid in there and you get a lot better contact and a lot like um uh, it's just a lot more rigid than if you had a drill chuck project, projecting three or four inches and then you had a dinky little shank uh, sticking out of there. It's a lot more rigid and it allows you to take advantage of the heavy nature of the machine so that uh, as these individual teeth are catching on the tubing during the miter, it's not going to get hung up on it. It's not going to spring the, the whole setup every time. It's just going to plow right through because it's got that rigidity to keep plowing. So when you look at these hole saw arbors, there's I think there's maybe four options on the Paragon website. You have like the short stubs, you have the longer shanks, and so that's just, you know, it depends on your setup. Sometimes you're trying to do something where you really need that extra length, and you might want the extra length. Generally, you want to go with the shortest stub that you can you can manage because it's going to be more rigid. As it gets longer, there's more leverage working against it, and uh, it's springier. You know, it's 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 uh, it's girth relative to its length, right? The longer it is, the less stout it is. The other option that you have is the thread size. So these are a different thread size, and the ones with the larger thread size are made for uh, larger diameter hole saws. So anything that is inch and an eighth or small is going to have that smaller thread size and anything that is inch and a quarter or larger is going to have the larger thread size and then the way that uh, Paragon makes these is there's a there's another piece that's like pressed on or threaded on or something here and that just gives you a little bit of a larger bearing area for the back side of your hole saw to make nice contact right uh, but yeah for the price these are great you can't really beat them if you had a different milling machine and it allowed you to hold larger diameter shanks and you had the ability to make your own you might do that you might get a little bit more rigid performance yet but uh, generally three-quarter gives you pretty good performance if you don't have a whole lot of stick out and so um, you know you can use these hole saws all different ways but if you don't have them on a, on a de decent arbor you're not going to get great performance and this really is uh, a key part of the puzzle.
So sometimes you need to change from one hole saw to another and uh, it's not that hard to do but you can struggle with it some and I found a really good method for that. So I have my vise here has these copper jaws which is great because it's not going to chew up the shank and if you just clamp it in here you get this two point contact it kind of sucks. You can put it like a, a pipe wrench on the outside or you can put a screwdriver or something through here and when you go to spin it what happens a lot of times is the shank wants to spin in there and it wants to pivot back and forth and it can be kind of hard sometimes. These can get seated pretty tight in there. And one of my favorite tips is another product that Paragon Machine Works is their tubing blocks. And these are great for all sorts of stuff, not just for holding tubing. So this is three quarters of an inch, which is the shank size. And when you put this in your vise, now rather than having Rather than having two point contact, you have all of this surface area. When you go to spin it, it doesn't just want to pivot around, it actually holds it pretty well. And it makes it really easy to swap these on and off. So, uh, this is just a quick tip, but I, it made a big difference for me when I realized I could do that with something I already had that was right next to the hole saw arbors. If you use one of these blocks, it really makes it a lot easier to change these out. So this hole saw is 5 eighths of an inch, 16 millimeters, and I only have this on this goofy arbor just for demonstration purposes. This will fit on the smaller thread size arbors. Uh, you can get you know, this is 5 eighths of an inch, you can get all the way up to like 6 inches, and there's a lot of sizes in between. You're not going to find as many options at your local hardware store as you'll find online. So I would say it's really worth looking around to see what you can get and ordering stuff ahead of when you'll need it so you're not stuck at the last minute running to the hardware store. Uh, I didn't know you could get them this small for a while because I didn't see them at the hardware store that way. And uh, yeah, so if you're doing the rear end of your bike and you're doing the brake bridge or the seat stay bridge, and you want to miter it for like 5 eighths diameter, 16 millimeter seat stays. Uh, you have hole saws that will actually do that for you and they produce great results. On the smaller end of things, sometimes you can use a, an end mill for that, but uh, hole saws really kind of work better if, if you have the size that you need and it's cutting on size. So yeah, I mean, that's the main points I wanted to make is the, the arbors really, you gotta have a lot of these around and they're, they're gonna save your life because they produce really good cuts when you have the hole saws you want and you have the setup that works for them. You can really get surprisingly good results on the cheap and uh, it's all about the setup, it's all about how you use them. So anyway, get yourself some of these Paragon Arbors or if you have a lathe and you want a manual uh, threading project, do a bunch of these. Uh, but you know, however you do it, getting something stout like this that your machine can really you know, grip onto with a collet that has a larger diameter shank like this is really gonna allow you to get the best performance out of these cheap little cutters. Anyway, hope you found the video useful. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.